food. To some people, it is the greatest pleasure in life. And a lot of times, when you need to eat food, you need to use your hands. Whether it's using a spoon, a fork, a knife, or just your hands, you always need to have some motion. But what if I don't want to use my hands? The thing is, I am a lazy person, and because I'm a lazy person, I want to minimize the motions that I make as much as possible. Which is why today I'm gonna to try to fix a problem that no one asked for, and I'm gonna to try to automate using a spoon and picking up a substance and putting it into your mouth. Let's get right into it. Firstly, we need to come up with a plan. So basically, what I'm thinking is we have to have like a conveyor belt kind of thing, a vertical one where we have the spoon kind of thing. And then it goes up and down, right? So when it goes up and down, when it gets to the bottom, it was just scoop up the uh, stuff that we wanted to pick up, and then it will rise back up to where our mouth is. And then after it puts it in our mouth, it will go back down and pick up more food. Amazing. Let's get to building. Now, usually the conveyor belt is the easiest part. Just get one of these pieces and then just build the belt, you know? And then you can have pieces connect to the technicals. But you may know that my channel is very budget and very low quality, which means that we don't have access to these kind of high quality pieces. Which is why I have this thing. So this is a Lego tank tread that acts just like a conveyor belt and is connected to a dome piece that acts as a spoon. And if you see the electrical tape, don't even ask about it because I'm just gonna say this is what happens when you don't buy the things you're supposed to buy and you rely on the crappy pieces that you find in your bin. And here is the tank tread put over some wheels and as you can see, wow, it moves. Very revolutionary. Now, this is where the motorized functions come in. This motor is gonna allow me to not use my hands ever again. And it's gonna attach to this contraption so that's able to move this conveyor belt up and down. First things first though, because as you can see, when you turn it on, this is way too fast for me to actually be able to catch the food. So let's slow this motor down. Okay, to put it very simply, when this small gear completes a full rotation, this big gear does not, which means that this whole thing will be slowed down. And after the gear is put on, now it's a lot slower. Perfect. And now, this whole thing can stand up. And all we have to do is connect this conveyor belt. And there you go. Okay, before we go on to the actual cereal, we need to do it on a test run. So, as you can see, this uh, machine has overhang. It's able to access the insides. So let's see how it works. Now, as you can see, it can be able to pick up uh, some of these pink frogs. And yeah, you can pick it up each time effectively. Now all we need is some cereal and some milk. Okay, now we're in our basement with the creepy locked cupboard. And we have the milk and we have the cereal. Alright, so you can see, press it on. I'll pick up the cereal. And then if I were to put my mouth there, you would pick it up. And it picks up quite a handful. So let's do the actual test now. All right, this is the moment of truth.
even though the speed was a bit fast and it took a bit of getting used to, I think that overall for something that's built using one motor and is held together by electrical tape, I think that this turned out pretty well. And towards the end, I was able to get a good couple of spoonfuls. But would I use this in place of my actual spoon? Yeah, no chance. But this was a pretty fun experiment, and if you want more trash LEGO content, then consider subscribing and liking this video. I'll see you next time. Bye!